ông quay chọc ông chúng tôi chụp đẹp cả một to cái tầm đại ca này chạy vị trí sạm naka hay sạm naka to thế này đào vị trí chun từ cầm sạm vị trí vị trí cái đây để chun chụp cháo đào mình mình nó cả tăng thùng lô để đào chụp bùa sạm xì đụng đi chia tập bùng đi đào vị trí chun từ cầm sạm vị trí vị trí cái đây lục nụn chia Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Some Honours Council. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few questions that I would like to put to you today, not very many, just a few. Um, um, you told the investigators, um, or the investigating judge, that you uh, had become, in 1975, a traditional uh, doctor. Is that correct? Okay. Um, why was it that you became a, a traditional uh, Cambodian doctor, uh, quote unquote, treating the illnesses of the people in the village? Uh, did you have some medical background uh, or uh, some other education uh, that made the village committee decide to appoint you as a traditional Cambodian doctor? เนี่ยภูมิโลกิตกจัดจราญพวกខ្ញុំដឹងថ្នាំច្រើននាំរស់ឈើច្រើននាំរស់ឈើច្រើននាំរស់ឈើច្រើននាំរស់ឈើច្
Do you remember um, what the Lonol government uh, did to people of Vietnamese origin in 1970? ກະນະເວໄວຄືນ້ອງນະວຽດນາມເວຕັນລຽກກຶບໄປຕັນລຽກອ້ອຍພ້ອມນະກະນໍນະພວກອາເມລິກັນມາຕັນລຽກພ້
He speaks about um, thousands of Vietnamese being killed and wounded in a period of, uh, of a few weeks right after the coup d'etat of Long Nô. Um, have you heard of such massacres of Vietnamese people right after the coup d'etat? The other uh, expert, Elizabeth Becker, uh, is an American journalist, Elizabeth Becker, writes in her book, E3-20, on the case file, um, English, EON 0023-7830, French, Zero zero six three eight three nine seven and Khmer zero zero two three two one six six. Uh, Khmer she writes about um, massacres of uh, eight hundred by some laptop laborers executed by soldiers and over to the Basak River. Uh, she talks about mass of people from Vietnamese uh, origin. Uh, but she also says the following, and that's something that I would like to read to you on the next page. Um, the Vietnamese in Cambodia were not the only targets. Lon Nô also went after the ethnic Chinese, the other type of foreign devil in his configuration of hell. No, uh, Through the local press, he campaigned Damn against yeah, the greedy uh, Chinese merchant yeah, class. Um, uh, Mr. Witness, have you ever heard in the time of Long Nol that not only Vietnamese people were targeted, but also Chinese people? Uh, people. Just to, to finish the subject, um, reading one small excerpt from her book, the book of Elizabeth Becker, uh, she writes, Elizabeth Becker. One pro-government newspaper warned that the Chinese of Phnom Penh might reap the same bitter souvenir as the Chinese of Indonesia who were slaughtered in the 1965 uprising. Have you ever heard um, on radio no. or read um, in local newspapers maybe or in any other form of about um, the Chinese fate to what happened to the Chinese in Indonesia. The reason that I'm also asking you is um, the following. In another work of a scholar, um, which is only suppressed in English, um, that is E3-88, that's the book of Shawcross, uh, William Shawcross called Shawcross. Um, he writes the following. Uh, uh, I'll read it slowly for the interpreters. Uh, Long Nô uh, was being advised by Indonesian officers, rather as Suharto had unleashed hatred of the Chinese population after the coup against Sukarno. So Long Nô tried to compensate for lack of peasant support by exploiting the traditional fear of the Vietnamese. And of course, um, this scholar speaks about uh, 1970, and he talks about, quote-unquote, the Khmer's traditional fear of the Vietnamese. Is that something from your experience or memories? Uh, that, 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 uh, Sounds familiar or not really?
Merci, M. le Président. Euh, je ne vois pas ce document dans l'interface, sur la liste de l'interface. Par ailleurs, il me semble que cette question de la peur des Vietnamiens pourrait être posée sans devoir nécessairement faire référence à un quelconque auteur ou à une comparaison avec l'Indonésie qui passe bien au-dessus de la tête du M. le témoin. Euh, je ne me pose donc pas la question concernant la peur en tant que telle des Vietnamiens, mais euh, l'utilisation du livre de Shaw Cross, enfin, je ne vois pas. Je ne le vois pas sur la liste et donc euh, je ne pense pas que ce soit utile non plus de l'utiliser. Merci. Or maybe also before and after something uh, that this scholar refers to as uh, the Khmer traditional fear of the Vietnamese people. លោកមិត្តវិទាំងទំនួរតាចិត្តមិត្តមិនដងទៀតទំនងសាក់សៃស្រាប់មិនយល់ទេមិនអាចឆ្លើយត្រូវទំនួររបស់លោកបានទេ
Mr. Witness, this um, American journalist also seen as an expert says the um, The educated elite of the country finally began to comprehend the scope of long holy war. They had not taken part in the programs, nor had they actively protested them. Mr. Witness, any author says something very complicated, um, but then she says the following. Um, few Cambodians are uh, pure in the sense Lon Nol meant to put into law. While Cambodians are largely from the same racial stock, many have mixed ancestors. Besides Vietnamese and Chinese ancestors, can also can have relatives from Vietnam as varied as the Portuguese, Indian, and Indonesian. Um, so what the author, uh, Mr. Witness, seems to be saying is uh, that it is in fact uh, impossible to determine on the complexion of the skin whether someone is Khmer uh, or from Vietnamese or from any origin. Is that something that you agree with? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste une remarque, il me semble que dans l'extrait qui a été lu, rien ne parle de la peau et de la couleur de la peau des, des gens. Donc il me semble que notre confrère fait une, une interprétation, une extrapolation, mais que l'extrait ne dit pas ce qu'il croit dire. Il n'est pas question de la couleur de la peau dans cet extrait. Et pour être tout à fait complet, parce que Maître Copé tout à l'heure a laissé entendre que j'avais posé des questions sur le teint, la différence de peau entre Vietnamien et Khmer. En fait, j'avais posé des questions à propos de la personne chinoise qui avait euh, survécu au massacre à Ksa, pour être tout à fait précis. Um, I have my notes here of this morning. Um, <laughs> the, president, um, the question is, was her complexion fair? And then uh, I had an objection, and then the prosecution even said, um, at the time in the countryside, there were no products to make your skin clearer. So he, was, um, he seemed to make a distinction uh, on... Uh, or at least the argument that you can see on the basis of uh, the skin um, color if someone, someone is Vietnamese, yes or no. It's indeed not in the excerpt, but it was what prompted me uh, to read this excerpt from um, the court's expert uh, to this witness. Uh, but my question is, I can be simple in my question, is it true, um, Mr. Witness, that it is impossible to see from someone's complexion whether he is Khmer or of mixed origin? Uh,
Is your answer implying that it is indeed not possible to see uh, from someone's skin complexion whether he is Khmer or has Vietnamese origin? Thank you, Mr. Witness. Let me now um, go to um, the day you described, um, day 1978. Um, in your um, statement to the investigators, you said um, that they forbid people uh, from walking nearby um, the pagoda Wat Sak. Um, when you said they forbid people to come close to the pagoda, who is they? Who, who are you referring to? Look when you said that they, that people were not allowed to be near the pagoda. Who is they? Okay, look. Um, Je me lève exceptionnellement, Monsieur le Président, sur ce point parce que euh, l'avocat est en train de faire ce qu'il reproche constamment aux autres parties, c'est-à-dire de lire un extrait sans avoir posé de questions ouvertes aux témoins concernant cette possible interdiction de circuler autour de la pagode et euh, passe directement prend ça pour acquis et pose alors d'autres questions. Donc je voudrais simplement que l'avocat de la Défense puisse être cohérent et euh, soit pose une question ouverte, euh, soit arrête de faire des objections lorsque les autres parties utilisent ce type de pratique. Merci. Um, Mr. President, I think the um, witness already extensively talked about um, not, not daring to go to the pagoda. Uh, this morning he said, uh, yeah, after three days he dared to go. Uh, so I think the prosecution has covered that particular issue. Uh, that's why um, I went straight to his own uh, statement, but I'm, I have no problem in asking him in an open forum. Um, Mr. Witness, um, do you know whether it was prohibited or forbidden to come close uh, to the pagoda in the time that you described this morning? Okay. Was it only he or were it also other people uh, who prohibited people from coming close to the pagoda? Uh, Mr. Witness, do you know what the prohibition was on coming So then did the commune chief have people patrolling uh, around the pagoda in order to make sure that the villagers would come close? Did it ever happen um, before the events that you described this morning? That you were walking uh, close to the pagoda, that you were stopped by those people, uh, and that you were sent back. Ham, ham, that's it. Ham, ham, that's it. Ham, ham, that's it. But did you ever, were you ever sent back? Uh, were you ever? 
too close to the pagoda and then a guard who was on patrol or someone who was on patrol ហើយធ្លាប់បានជួបជាមួយនឹងអ្នកយាមប្រាប់លោកមិនឲ្យទៅជិតនឹងដែរទេធ្លាប់ជួបទេជួបហើយខ្ញុំផ្សេះមាត
one level up PDF. Did you ever see him speak to members of the commune did you ever see him speak to uh, members of one level up the district? Did you ever see him speak with people from uh, the district committee? Um, yet, um, to the investigators and also this morning, you <coughs> said that he received <coughs> his orders <coughs> from, quote, unquote, <coughs> the upper uh, What is the source <coughs> of um, your <coughs> conclusion <coughs> that he received his order from, <coughs> the quote, unquote, <coughs> upper echelon? <coughs> But did, did the, the villagers tell you how they knew? Or was, it, or was it hearsay from them as well? Uh, can you explain to the court what kind of person Chief Soy was? What, what, what kind of man was he? Was he a cool man? Or was he, uh, where was he from originally? Who was he? บ้านได้ดิเตะแต่ก็จะมนุษย์กายสหายหรือก็สลดมันจิกายเตะเนี่ยสรกเนาะภูมิยิ่งนู่นไหนแล้ว what else do you remember about him ตาลูกจําอวัยคลาสเตียดอัมปีเอ่อชมซอยนึง <laughs> Have you ever heard whether he was someone who didn't like Vietnamese people? Um, now, so, some, some uh, very few questions I have now about uh, Chanta. Um, when was was she in this? Was she working in a mobile unit? And if yes, did you ever see her work there? Chanta, I got to work in a Hong Kong chalat dairy. Hi, person, I got to work in a Hong Kong chalat. I look to love Khun Kwa dairy. Club Khun is a Hong Kong chalat. Did you see her when she was called for a study session? Do you know why her grandparents were not also um, uh, requested to attend a study session. My last question 
Um, Mr. Witness, have you ever heard uh, of an uprising in Chikrang district um, during which two uh, Khmer Rouge um, guardrails were killed? And do you know why that was? Why did that happen? Lúc đứng tới hạt đói ban cho kì ngươi bà bào Mình đang ngươi bà bào mấy Hoàn đăng đá This, this, this Cadre that got killed Was that someone who had any connections with Chief Soi? Thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. Witness. So, uh, uh, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas de questions à poser aux témoins. Je voudrais simplement que Maître Copé, s'il le peut, nous indique s'il y a des documents qui feraient état de ce soulèvement dans le district de Chikrang. Yeah, um, yes, I do. Um, it's a it's somewhere in the pile. It's a regulatory um, report um, made up by the investigators of the co-investigating judges. Um, it's somewhere here. I'm happy to provide that to you. Um, Judge Levine, at one point. អរគុណអាចជាបន្តនេះអាវិញផ្ដាល់ជូនលោកចក្រមទៅពេលក្រោយសូមអរគុណបាទអរគុណអាចជាបន្តនេះអាវិញផ្ដាល់វាកាយជ
thank you, uh, Mr. President. Two things. The document uh, that was just uh, asked for is E3-8327. Uh, um, it's English ERN 0023338, French 0024229, and Khmer 0024683. And it is a um, report of execution of rogatory letter dated 19th September 2008. Uh, and the other thing, Mr. President, uh, this morning I sent um, an email to the senior legal officer in respect of uh, very brief oral submissions I would like to make uh, either today or tomorrow. Of course, I do, there's no hurry. Um, but um, if you allow me, I can make them now uh, or at another stage. Okay. ថ្ងៃស្អែកទៅណាបាទថ្ងៃស្អែកនេះអង្គជំរះនឹងធ្វើសមណាការសាលាប្រខេកម្មសាក់សីដែលមានហាសនាមពីទីស៊ីដាវ